Hi, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In this episode, I'm going to cover all of our plastic printed pieces and I'm going to show you where to install all of our threaded brass heat sets. So let's get started. Alright, so laid out here are all the parts you need to print for your White Knight belt printer. I'm just going to cover them all real quick. You've got your X and Y axis stepper motor mounts. There are also the mounting points for your Y axis extrusions. You got your two X axis end mounts, those mount to the linear rails. You have your two corner brackets, one of which will hold your stepper motor for and your extruder. We have the two bottom mounts for the side brace and the two top mounts for the side brace. We've got our four bearing mounts here, three of them are standard. The fourth one is longer for mounting a stepper motor that controls your belt motion. We've got our four end caps, two narrow and two wide, the two wide ones. Mount up front by your stepper brackets here, that way you have something to slide the mounts flush up against the front so you're sure they're grounded out. We've got our mount for our panel duet. We have the two brackets that hold that in place. We have our peeler. This is what was used to make sure your prints come to the end that they roll away from it instead of stopping dead and grounding out it. For some reason a little bit happens to stay stuck to the belt. We have our four end caps and inserts for our rollers. We have our end cap for our slide tray, our slide tray, and our switch enclosure for our slide tray. We have our bottom circuit board assembly cover, our top circuit board assembly cover. We have our four mounts for our belts. These two will clamp it in place. These two are adjustable so you can fine tune your belt positions. These are what they slide into. Here is your mount for your E3D or Mosquito. Here is the main carriage for your hot end. Here is your clamp to hold your hot end in place and it also serves as a mounting point for your fans. Here is your cooling ducts for your layer fans. Here's a nice little shroud to keep all your wires tucked in nice and tight so they don't rub against the belt. And then here's 10 clips to hold your Bowden tube to your wiring tube. And the only thing on this table we don't see are the covers for the panel do. Now, I didn't create them so I didn't put them out on here. There's several different ones you can choose from. You just need to make sure you have your standard spacing so you can use this bracket. If you choose to use a different one, then I'm going to link in the description. And that'll be printed up shortly as well. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sort out all the pieces that require brass heat sets to be put inside them. And then we'll cover putting in our heat sets. All right, so I have all the parts laid out that need heat sets. Each one of your axis stepper mounts takes one for the coaster bearing the hot end mount takes two each one of your x-axis mounts takes two your stepper mount for your roller takes four the panel do mount takes four your Circuit board assembly carriage takes two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Now you don't have to mount the four for where the Duex board, expansion board can mount, but while you're putting all of them in, I figure go ahead and put them in there. That way you don't have to worry about it later. After you've got everything wired up, you can just install your board and continue add-ons if we ever get to where we can do tool changer with this. The switch housing takes four. And then your hot end mount and cooling fan mount actually takes six metric two heat sets. Now I'm going to go ahead and start installing all these heat sets. All right, so the first piece I'm going to go ahead and start mounting these into is going to be the cooling fan and hot end mount. Get these smaller ones out of the way first. Make sure you always put the tapered end of the heat set in first. Now. I actually got this design pretty nice to where you can actually get the small end of the heat set to actually snap in place. As you can see right there, they all snap in 
about a quarter of the way. We'll go ahead and snap all of them in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thread a screw into it so I have something to pull out on it with. Heat them up and pull them on through. And make sure when you heat up, put them in, it doesn't take much heat to get them going. And I usually stop just shallow and then give them a tug with the bolt so they go in just below flush. And that takes care of the six metric two heat sets in our hot end mount and fan mount. Next we'll go ahead and do the switch enclosure. There are four that go into it, two on the inside of these two holes, and two that go on the inside of that hole and that hole there. I usually try to grab a long metric three bolt so I can help set these on. And get it on the end like that. Pull it back flush. and that takes care of our four heat sets inside our switch enclosure. Next we'll go ahead and do our hot end mount. They mount back in each of these holes here. Slide the bolt through. There's our two brass heat sets in our hot end mount. Now there's 12 of them in the hot end carriage. We've got four that go into each of these points here. Plus there's four here for the belt straps at the back of the carriage. And there are four here for the bracket that holds the slide adjusters for the belts on the other side. That takes care of our potting carriage. All right, so each one of the X mounts gets one. We're gonna mount some bearings in here for the belts. These all go right here, right here. And there's our heat tips mounted in one of our 
X carriage mount or X axis mounts. The other one. I'll go ahead and mount the four in our roller stepper mount. There you go. Right in these holes here. Fairly recessed down in. So. Inside our belt stepper mount. Now put the four in our panel do mount. There you go. Right there. care of our panel do mount. Now there's a guide roller for the belt. It'll mount right in here. This heat set needs to mount right in there. Take care of one of our stepper motor mounts. Now this one's a little tougher to get to. It's going to pop out right there. second stepper mount. Now the last thing we have to put our heat sets into is our slide tray. Now we need to mount four under where each circuit board assembly will mount. And we need to mount two back here. This is how we attach our front cover to the slide tray. And that completes installing the heat sets in our slide tray. All right, so after going through everything, I realized that I missed two pieces in the layout. They're the part of the plug mount that are used for holding the wiring and everything in place on the slide tray. Um, this piece here gets four heat sets, two here and one here and one here. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in real quick. All right, so that wraps up this episode. Now, if you like what you saw and you haven't already subscribed, you can click that link right there and go ahead and ring the bell for updates as well. Now, if you wanna help support future projects and future upgrades of the White Knight, there is a wish list and a PayPal me link right down there in the description. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.